Hi, I'm Martha Bartlett Pyland, President and CEO of Banktastic. We help financial brands build love and loyalty. I want to talk today about really good creative development. It's exciting when you get to develop a new creative campaign and sometimes there is a tendency to veer off of course and maybe produce something that isn't quite on target or isn't quite ready to do the job that you need. So I have a three-step process for helping make sure that from beginning to end, your creative really reaches its intended audiences and its intended results. So first, you need to start with a strategy brief. And whether that is just because you're working with an internal team or if you're working with an external agency, all of you need to be on the same page. So spending some time working on a written brief that documents your goals and objectives, the strategies and tactics you'll employ, and your target audience is really important. But don't just stop there. What else do we know about this target audience? Who are they? Do you have a persona for this audience? Can you really articulate what that is? What's his or her normal day like? What worries them? What excites them? What are some potential needs that they have that your institution can offer? Where do you find these people? And do you need to be there? Step two, start brainstorming. That's the fun part, right? Where we get to sit around a table or get to virtually brainstorm or do things in teams and come back together and we come up with all these wonderful ideas. That's exciting and fun. But now we've got to do the hard work of evaluating those ideas. Sometimes it's easy to fall in love with the first idea, or sometimes there's just this wild idea that captivates all of the team and you get really excited about thinking about how you could execute this in advertising and social media and all these different ways and whew, off you go. But really, if you're going to have a very successful campaign, stop. Take a look at those ideas and measure them back against that strategy brief that you already have created. Now, sometimes that's hard because that means you're going to have to let some great ideas go. That doesn't mean that they're bad ideas. It just means that they're not right for this assignment. So keep them in an idea folder, but don't use them for now. Once you've evaluated and you've found those ideas that really do support what you're trying to do, then you can start fleshing those out and refining and honing. The last step that I think is really important, especially if you're investing a lot of resources into your campaign, is to do some testing. Share those ideas with a survey, a focus group of your audience, or maybe your advisory board if they are the kind of audience that you're trying to reach. See if they understand the language you're using. Do they get the point of what you're offering? Do they find it of value? Does it generate the kind of emotions that you want them to have, whether that's humor or warmth or excitement? Whatever that is, you have an opportunity to learn from those audiences if you share some things with them. Now, a word of caution, remember that a focus group is qualitative feedback. It's not quantitative. So even if 90% of your focus group says they love this, you can't guarantee that 90% of your audience will because it's too small of a sample. Nonetheless, that focus group can really talk to you about emotions or they can throw up some red flags if there's something that they don't get or doesn't feel right. And that gives you the chance to refine and hone before you take your campaign further. That's it. Once you've done that testing, now you are armed with really good knowledge on what to do, finalize your campaign, and go get those new customers or members. One, two, three. Strategy brief. Evaluate. Test. That's it. Thanks for listening, and please share your campaigns with me. I'd love to see what you're doing.